Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I'm going to try this one more time. <laughs> I seem to be getting interrupted a lot lately. This is Friday, June the 5th now, and it's 7.50 a.m. <laughs> this is one of my old shirts that I repainted over. Don't get left behind, so live right. Repent. Okay. Um, this is another video that I would like to share from Israeli News Live. And this is Steve and Yana discussing different things that they've each researched. And it's called Taking Off the Gloves. It was put out on June the 1st. <laughs> See, I meant to put it up June the 2nd, and I forgot. And I was kept thinking, what was that video I was going to share? Because it was now in my history. <laughs> anyway, somebody said something yesterday about one of the subjects, and I went, Oh, yeah, I remember now. So, anyway, and then I tried last night to make it, and I got interrupted. So, here I am. I'm going to try again. Okay, let me, let me pull this a little closer. I'm afraid it might be at an angle on that little table. So, anyway, um, they discussed several things on here of what's going on today, more about the COVID-19, but what I really wanted to drive home was something that some of you may not know already. Some of you may. Now, I knew already that the Queen of England and the royal family were reptilians, okay? And Obama and many of his, or should I say some, of his secret service were because there were videos showing them shape-shifting. Well, I know that one, I can remember distinctly this bald-headed one who had a very odd-shaped head, and they would show him, he would be the most apt to distort, like in a time of stress. Well, then there was the one, there's videos showing the queen with the slit in her eyes. And the, the prince, uh, William, I believe it is, showing him, uh, just showing children how he has a scar that glows green. And they thought, oh, how cool. They didn't know. They had no clue why his scar glowed green. <laughs> anyway, um, I know that someone made a comment that Steve's sources in the White House were not reliable, but I just believe in my heart that what he says here about the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, George Soros, he names another one, or two are from the bloodline of all the way back to the Egyptian royalty. Now, if you know anything about Egyptian art history, they put their history in art, and you, you see like a, a creature with a, a They're like half this and half that. And some are men on horses' bodies. And that stuff is not just mythological. That is reptilian messing with man. Uh, the fallen angels. Okay, we're talking Nephilims here. And I know I read comments where people have had dreams of giants, giants eating people, that's going to be after the two raptures. I'm sure of it. So just because it doesn't happen now doesn't mean it isn't going to happen. So I wanted to point that out. And 
um, let me blow this up. I just wanted to briefly mention some of the things that they're talking about. Like this testing the, um, let's see, I went, I had, let me go back to, the, seems like the three minute mark had something. Okay, okay. Cuomo, which I believe is a governor or mayor in New York. Let's see. New York City protests have exposed a truth. Cuomo and de Blasio have missed the... And then it's dot, dot, dot. So, anyway, I'm pretty sure uh, he's the mayor. But I, I could be mistaken. At any point... He's saying that the protests could spark coronavirus comeback in New York. Now, is there anybody that had any doubt that this was going to come back? And now look. We all know this is a put on. Oh, this is so clear to me and yet. I know I don't dare say it or the video will get removed. But we know that all these people are being bussed in. There's your quiet protesters demanding justice for George Floyd. But then you've got the ones bussed in that are busting in the windows of the big stores and malls and their getting all the free stuff that they can. I spoke about it some a couple of days ago. And that's all George Soros funded. Surprise, surprise. He funded all the people from South America, Ecuador and that area, coming up through Mexico to Remember, that's not been that long ago. Was that even, was that the Obama administration? No, I believe that was in President Trump's administration. And that's why he wanted to build a wall. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's, that's how it went. There were so many of them wanting to come across the border he said we've got to put up a wall so there was a real big deal about him wanting to put up the wall okay so that was funded by George Soros where does the man get all that money I think he owns the World Bank or something <laughs> anyway I forget now what his credentials are if you want to put it that way um, so can you see this all these people not wearing masks, a lot of them. Now, they're quiet protesters. You see a lot of them wearing them. Not that they do any good. Even Fauci said the masks don't do any good. And then we hear that the virus is not even really something that is passed from person to person. It's something our body creates it's part of our defense system I'm not sure if I did a video on that one I learned that it's a couple different videos I think I did share that it's our third line of defense like the you got your army and then you got your air force and then you got your navy or whatever that you send in well it's like that it's like our body has the white blood cells and then it's got I should know this I was a nurse but my brain is, is getting where I don't remember things like I used to and anyway the virus is the third line of defense and when it's done it sheds particles of the bacterium or offender it could be a foreign object it could be an internal injury and if the uh, first line of defense can't handle it and the second line can't handle it then it comes in and sheds 
what is known as a virus. And they're teeny tiny microscopic particles. So the masks, when you cough or you sneeze, that's what can come out and that's the masks are no good. So how that can cause you to get sick I, I don't see how. So what is? The question is, if that's true, okay, if that's true, and I've heard it from two sources, not one, but two, then what does? What is the spreading factor? Is it a bacterium or bacteria? Because... When I was a nurse, we learned viruses don't cause a fever. Bacteria does. Bacteria causes infection and spikes a fever. And then later in life, I hear influenza. Oh, yeah, influenza does cause a fever. Then that tells me there's a bacteria. Hey! Get out of there! Get out of there! Come on! Good boy. Good boy. That's my good boy. Sorry, folks. What were you doing back there? You were a little rascal. Where was I? Bacteria. We know there's good bacteria and bad bacteria, and this is not a biology lesson. I kind of got off track there. The point is, something's causing it. It's It does get spread. Some things get spread more easily than others. But we knew this was going to come back, that there was going to be a coronavirus 2.0. Huh? Uh, coronavirus 19. COVID-19, and then it's going to move up to COVID-2.0. Huh? Anyway, I'm going to end it here. If you want to watch it, you can hear about all the different subjects they go through. I do believe this is a channel worth listening to, except when it comes to Bible teaching. They, they clearly do not believe in a rapture coming soon. Clearly. So just overlook that part. How people that study the Word of God can't see that, I don't know. I just find it so plain and clear, but anyway, so I don't recommend them for your Bible teaching, okay? Just the news they bring to us. Okay, so it isn't always, it used to always be about Israel, it seemed like, but now it's more pertinent to the United States, and they talk about the Zionist Jews, Yana goes into that and how the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, let's see, it was the Rockefellers started Israel when Israel became a nation again. They funded it. Anyway, she goes into that and, and it may t teach you a lot more than what you already know about what's going on and has been going on what it has to do with us in Israel, and who the true Jews are and aren't. Okay, so I'm going to end it here because I can't remember all the subjects, even though I tried to listen to it again and finish it, and I keep getting interrupted. So let me just go ahead and share it if you haven't seen it. I just believe that you would learn a lot because they're going through different subjects. You know, it isn't just all about one thing. Okay, so I plead the blood of Jesus over this. Video. Sorry, Lord. And over each and... Uh, oh, dear Lord, help me. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, over myself and my computer and my internet connection and over each and every one of you and all of your devices 
and your internet connections. Keep me in your prayers. I know you do already. <laughs> I need a little more strength. Yeah, and I need my memory back. <laughs> oh, Jesus, come quickly. All right. Thank God uh, I have his strength. I mean, I like my my necklace <laughs> says I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So he keeps me going. All right. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.